In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Dragon Age the Veilguard DirectX function error. So in case you're getting this error, which is saying either this message over here or this message over here, I'm going to fix it right now with you, okay? So this is actually quite simple. The first thing you can do is lower your graphic settings inside the game. However, this likely will not fix the issue forever and it may still come up at some times. If you want to fix it forever, here's what you can do. Now, I'm going to guide you through it, just follow me. Now, you would want to clear shader cache, and the way you do this is by doing this, the following thing. You want to open up your Steam app, because I'm assuming you're playing the game on Steam. You can open it as admin or not, like I did, it doesn't really matter. I usually open it as admin, so I get access to all the files. Now, once Steam opens up, in a second over here it will load up for me, we're going to do... Uh, something and we're gonna kind of delete a specific folder inside the installed files which is likely causing the issue on our end on our computer so what you have to do inside steam is go to library and then inside library you want to go to your game so look at your game find dragon age the veil guard over here right click on the game and press properties inside the properties you want to go inside installed files and over here you want to click browse now, what this will do is it will basically open up a folder where there's all the installed files for this very game. In here, you want to look for the game which is called shader underscore cache, because this is not the game uh, we're talking about right now. I'm just showing you with a random game over here. Um, I don't have this very a folder in here, however, you most likely will have it in case you've deleted it in the past. So it's gonna say this, so shader cache, this is gonna be the folder that you have to go into and delete everything in there. So just open it up and delete everything that's in there and close this down. So that's the first thing you can do. Now, the second thing we can do is to close down Steam. So you can remove this, there we go. You wanna go to your background anywhere inside your desktop where there's no icons, right click it, click show more options and then press Nvidia control panel. So essentially you wanna get inside the Nvidia control panel. This will open up in a few seconds when everything loads up. There we go. And now from here, what you want to do is over here on the left, you want to extend the 3D settings option and go inside manage 3D settings. In here, you want to swap to global settings over here and you want to scroll down until you see shader cache size. What you want to do with this is you want to double click over here where it says driver default and you want to set it to either 10 or 100 gigabytes. Of course, put it 100 gigabytes if you have a better computer and this will hopefully solve the issue for you. Once you've done this, you want to click apply changes or OK, whatever pops up. And then you need to go to help up top over here and press debug mode. Now, once you click debug mode, you should have this check mark over here, which means this one is enabled. Now, what we're gonna do next is actually go and install the latest graphic card driver for your computer. So in case you're using Nvidia, I would recommend you use this GeForce Experience app. Just open it up and it can guide you through how to basically get the newest gaming ready driver. Or if you're using um, AMD, you can install AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, which will also allow you to install the newest version of the driver for your graphics card. If you're using Intel, you most likely will have to download the driver manually from their official website website. So that's kind of the last step I have. I hope some of these helped you out and your issue is now fixed. And if this video helped you out, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.